Hey guys, my name is Dana Veterinarian and welcome to the video. The other day I had this comment and this, this individual told me that why would you put your cat through stomatitis treatment, which is removing all the cat's teeth. And I, I just find that crazy because my kitty's right here. This is Scabs and she is just so special. And she was really uncomfortable until we pulled her teeth out. And I get it, that's intense, but here's the deal. She had a really ouchy mouth and her mouth hurt a lot. She drooled all the time. She had a hard time eating anything. And when I went in there and pulled her teeth, she was so much better so quickly. And it's one of those things where if you have, if you have disease, you need to go in there and remove it. So if your dog had a bad spleen, we'd go in there and take it out. If your dog had a mass on its leg or a disease on its leg that couldn't be fixed, we'd amputate the leg, right? And none of these, none of these medical or surgeries uh, approaches are, are ideal. They, they're all disappointing, they're all sad, and, this, and it can be frustrating and financially taxing. But if, if we start thinking like certain things aren't warranted and either the animal should suffer or be put down, that really, it really makes it challenging to treat animals. What I'm saying is, guys, is when I first started practicing, I had a dog come in and it had glaucoma in both eyes. And this was about 10 years ago. I looked at that doggy and I thought to myself, like, I should put this dog down. It's going to be blind. Uh, if it's not blind, um, it's, I mean, it would be blind no matter what. But if I don't take the eyes out, it's going to be painful too. And I debated for a while and then I ended up taking both eyes out. And I, I had a hard time with that. But you know what? No, who didn't have a hard time with that? The dog didn't. The dog came back in about three weeks later after a couple of rechecks and he was happy, bouncing around. And the owner's like, oh man, Dan, he, he's amazing. He can, he can smell things. He knows when we're like making food or he knows where we are in the room. He can hear super well. We just don't rearrange it all. He runs around the backyard. He runs around the backyard and he is happier than ever before. His glaucoma made him feel uncomfortable, probably gave him a headache, made him painful. And it was great. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, was a paradigm shift for me. I went from thinking that like I knew everything and I, and I didn't, and I, and I know I didn't, but I really felt like I did. As a veterinarian, I felt like if there's a problem and I can't make the dog whole, then we need to talk about quality of life. And it's not about making an animal whole. It's about making the animal as as comfortable as possible and providing a life that is fulfilling to the animal and the pet parents. And if I can make that doggy and kitty like able to do doggy and kitty things and they are pain free and they can enjoy their life, it will be different and it may not be the same life. But if we can get the doggy to that point, then that's, that's great. We have a group of chickens coming up behind us. These are the neighbor's chickens. They, uh, it's like a, it's like a gang. Oh, hey, Scabs. So, so like I was saying, guys, it's, it's about providing a service that gets the dog back to being a dog, the cat back to being a cat, and it takes away the pain, it takes away the infection, it takes away the tumor, it takes away whatever ailment there is, or it stabilizes it or manages it to the point where we can move forward with a life that is fulfilling for both the cat, the dog, and the human that's involved. And that's why when I saw this comment and they're like, why would you do this? You should either let the cat suffer or put it down. These are, these are like, you shouldn't be going in there and doing all this work. And that's why we're here. Our goal is to make the kitty, the doggy, the human, we're making them as whole as possible. And sometimes it requires us to do something extreme to provide a quality of life that is, that is good and healthy uh, for everybody. And um, if we can't get there, if we can't bridge that gap, if we're chronically painful, if we have an ailment that affects our ability, to, as I say, to be a cat or a dog, and to do cat and dog things, then we talk about quality of life. But I took scabs of teeth about 10 years ago, 
And this cat loves life now. And that's pretty darn cool. All right, guys. As always, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. And <laughs> check this out. This is like mafia of chickens. I think they're going to try to get over to my chicken coop. Those stinkers. They're going to go cause problems.